Hello everyone, it is Erin Flitter here and I am here putting together some bullet journal theme ideas. And I thought that this would be kind of fun. I saw Joshi Corinne do this and my brain was just completely blank about what to do for a video. And honestly, I'm like lacking some creativity just because I'm dealing with kind of a lot with like a moving process and all this kind of stuff. So <laughs> I decided um, to very nicely cheat off of Joshi Curran's homework and <laughs> put together some theme ideas of my own. So I am trying to do some themes that don't seem very common in the bullet journaling community. And so the first theme that I thought of was Disney music. And so I'm going for kind of some like Fantasia vibes where it's like, Mickey Mouse, but like the Fantasia type of color scheme, and then combining two things that I love, which is Disney and music. And so I thought that combining some things that aren't really standard to combine might be really fun. So I have these like Mickey Mouse notes and things like that. Um, so I just have some like general doodle ideas here in the middle, and then some like pairings for color schemes and other types of drawings on the outside of those. So I have the Disney music with the Fantasia vibes and that um, beautiful purple to light blue gradient. And then the second one I have is a lemonade stand. And so I see a lot of people do citrus themes, but not necessarily as like this quote unquote lemonade stand. So I thought it would be a little funky fresh to go ahead and do that. And um, I added this five cents and then decided not to actually put that in there because um, <laughs> no one should work for five cents anymore, even little kids. <laughs> so I decided just to put a big old lemonade sign. Um, and then I decided to combine this like very yellow color with kind of like a, like a limey lemonade color. It's still in like the yellow family, but it has like some green hints to it and combine those with like, you know, that, that typical little stand, um, what the, like banner type of thing. And then combine with, um, some slices over on the side. And then from there, I'm moving on to a cross stitching theme. And so I thought that this theme would be fun to do combined with kind of like this outer space type of theme, because when you can draw little like stars, it looks like how it would look on a cross stitch. So I decided to combine those two things. And um, I didn't want to do the whole background as that blue. So I just did some lines in there. And then I did like these wiggly lines instead of like, very straight lines because theoretically this would be cross stitch together, right? It wouldn't be like just a drawing. So I wanted to get like some of that night sky look with like the blue lines. I don't know if I achieved it, but you know what? It's fine. I did, I did what I did. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. Um, these are just some general ideas for you guys. And to be honest, cross stitching, you could go any number of ways. I just decided to go with the telescope type of theme. Moving on, I got inspired by some lyrics from Hamilton and I just thought, and for some reason I wanted to do a rainbow. Um, it doesn't really fit, but I kind of like how the end result turned out. So I'm not mad about it, but basically I decided to go with like the world turned upside down. Um, there's kind of a lot of things going on in the world that are kind of crazy, chaotic, uh, honestly terrible so um and and to be honest you know we a lot of us have been experiencing this for quite a while now uh with all the pandemic and 
just like the sheer craziness of the world right now. So um, I decided to do a little theme surrounding that with the world turned upside down. And I have a little rainbow. It's kind of like a beacon of hope, even though like the world is upside down here. Um, and for some reason, yet again, I really wanted that like night sky look. I, I guess it makes sense since it's like outer space and you're like looking at the world turned upside down. But that is basically the whole premise of that theme is just like there's some hope in the world, hopefully. <laughs> and um, so that's the rainbow in there and then the world being as chaotic as it is um, being upside down. So that that's what I've got <laughs> in terms of the four different types of themes. I hope that you like this video. I do want to make it like a really fun series. Um, and hopefully I'll feel a little bit more creative. I'm kind of in a rut because like my whole life feels like it's a little bit in chaos. And um, like my office right now is just absolute chaos because I'm starting to pack my office up and pack my house up for moving. And, um, more to come on all of that information later on. I, I have some story times to tell you when it comes to, uh, the moving process. So, um, I hope you really like this video. Please let me know if you have any like kind of unique themes that you've never seen before. Um, and, uh, let us know in the comments down below and I will see you next time, everyone. Bye.